Okay, what we're going to do next is we're actually going to open up a Google AdWords account right now. Um, that'll cost a one-time non-refundable five dollars. You can fund it with as little as, as I, I believe ten dollars. And you can basically have this account online, up and running, and live getting targeted traffic to your website in about 15 minutes, which is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> Um, now I'm not going to go into full complete depth in using this tool. I'll show you how to set up the account, how to do some really the, the, the basic, the really important things that you need to be aware of, um, give you some ideas for, for how to how you want to write the ads um, and things like that. We're gonna already have covered um, the, the landing page that you're the website that you're going to be directing people to through this. Um, through your ads here in Google and I'll help you to get around um, what's called the Google slap with that to make sure that, that they don't shut your ad down um, or try to make you pay ten dollars per, per one click really you want to be getting that as low as possible and generally under a dollar really under 50 cents per click um, so so that'll be a big thing that I'll help you out, out there but uh, there is another um, there is a, an expert out there called Perry Marshall he's written the definitive guide to, to Google AdWords and it is an excellent excellent book I highly recommend it it's um, in the ebook that's that's covering this topic there's a link out to, to that product there definitely you should get that and read that it's a 220 page ebook very good covers everything in detail much more detail than I could go in, into here I mean I, this would be a, a three hour video <laughs> if I went into all that information so I'm going to try to keep this um, short and to the point you know get you up and, and functional and, and to show you the, the main things that you need to do so getting started here first just go to google.com and uh, if you've never noticed the stuff below here uh, there's advertising programs you want to click on that link and uh, this is what we want for Google AdWords now in the future when you when you actually have a website you know have your website developed and you're getting traffic to it Google AdSense is a really cool thing that you'll add onto your site, but I'll cover that in a later um, at a later time. For right now, we're, we just want to sign up. I don't think this link is working for some reason, so you want to click there if it's working. Otherwise, you can click that top link and um, come down to sign up here. So what you're going to do, don't get the starter edition. Um, get the standard edition. There's, there's more functionality built into this. I'll show you how to use some of this functionality, and then Perry Marshall's book will help you with the rest of it. It's just a lot easier if um, you know you're you're going to be expanding out into to multiple campaigns, multiple products, fairly rapidly. So you just want to use the standard edition. Um, so you want to click continue then. And now, if you already have a Google uh, Gmail account, you can click here. Otherwise, you know you click there and in. in uh, and fill in your appropriate information. You could you could actually get a new login even if you do have the Google uh, Gmail. I'll just use an account that we already have set up. Okay, now you have to click that link and it'll take you back here. So so here you'll, you'll click create your first campaign, um, select the appropriate language. Right here, it's set to default to the United States only. If you wanted to expand out, you can click um, Change Targeting. And then I'll pop open a box. And from this, you can actually, I like to select bundles right here. You can actually select, you know, like North America right here. And that's, of course, going to be the US and Canada that you'll have selected. Oh, oh from up there in Mexico here. 
So you can select different groups in, um, you know, just different countries out of different groups there. Um, it, you can also do really specific targeting here where you can do so many miles around an area, you know, so many 50 miles around your, your home address. Um, for right now, we'll just cancel out of that and, and just do the U.S. Um, so then you can click continue. Um, now here you're going to be typing in your headline. Now they, they make you actually put in your your first ad, you, you know, you might not want to, um, might want to not want to use this overall, you know, you're going to be adding in other ads and, and adding things to it, but for right now, just to give you some, some, uh, some pointers here, for your headline, you really want to grab grab the person's attention in your target market um, a lot of times a question will be good and, and you, you wanna pull in you don't wanna pull in as many people as possible with this ad you wanna pull in as many targeted people as possible so really say something that kind of grabs their attention something that they're looking for um, a problem that they have or something that would be of, of interest to them so you know sick of buying MLM leads uh, in our example and now they only let you go 25 characters here too so you definitely have to use your space as much as you can um, and later on when we break it down into, into keywords and keyword groups and I'll, I'll teach you how to research and do things like that um, as, a, as a pointer you want your keywords appearing in here so if, you, if the keyword for this ad was going to be MLM leads that would be great because when they pull in when they search for MLM leads in Google, on the right side is where your ad's going to pop in. Okay, um, so we have our title here, and um, we're going to call their attention. Um, the second line should be a benefit. The well, description line one should be a benefit. Description line two um, could continue that benefit or be a feature. The display URL here, if you can have a keyword in the name, that's good. Um, if not, then that's okay, but it'd be better if you could work that out. And then the, uh, the display URL actually has to work, and it has to correlate to the destination URL, but this might end up being a really long URL, you know, mysite.com um, slash, you know, another website.html, blah, 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 blah. It might be really long and the display here would just be mysite.com in that case. So, uh, so we'd have a benefit here. So Paid to sponsor, and then you know this would be you know something like this. Um, so this would be a free report or you. Know,